As part of our celebration of 125 years of Army football, we are counting down the top 10 moments in Army football history. Number four, Army's come from behind victory in the 1996 Army-Navy game. The 1990s provided some of the most thrilling Army-Navy games in history. With five straight from 1992 to 96, won by Army and decided by a grand total of 10 points. None of those five games had as much on the line as the 1996 affair. Army and Navy came in with a combined 17 wins, and not only was the Commander-in-Chief's trophy on the line, but the game's winner was guaranteed a spot in the Pool and Weed Eater Independence Bowl. At a rain-soaked veteran stadium in Philadelphia, a Jay Parker field goal gave Army a three-point first quarter lead. But Navy erupted for three touchdowns in the second stanza to take a 21-3 lead late in the first half. But Army answered back with a 44-yard scoring run by quarterback Ronnie McAda and then converting a Navy turnover into another Parker field goal to cut its deficit to eight points at halftime. On the second play of the third quarter, slotback Bobby Williams raced 81 yards to bring Army to within two points. The Black Knights quickly struck again, taking advantage of a missed Navy field goal. It was Makeda, this time with a 45-yard run, to set up a three-yard scoring plunge by Demetrius Perry as Army took a 25-21 lead late in the third quarter. A Parker field goal in the fourth quarter put Army in front 28-24. It then was up to the Army defense to finish the job. After two goal line stands in the closing minutes, the biggest comeback in Army-Navy game history was complete. President Bill Clinton presented the Commander-in-Chief's trophy as Army picked up its Academy record 10th victory of the season and headed to a postseason bowl game for the first time in eight years.